Hi folks and welcome back to more The Devil and Me. When last we left off, we have discovered the key to get to the balcony second floor. The only problem is we don't know how to get the key. So we need to figure out how to get the key. That's the key we need. Can we open the window? Maybe we've got a shimmy across. No. Ah, there's a bit of a hole there. Move this, use it as a step maybe? No? Now I appear to be stuck. Wow. <laughs> really, game? Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to push me out too far. Right. I can see why people have a problem with this game. I don't know how... I don't know how they managed to fuck this one up so badly. They did so well with the others. Um, I'm hoping that's already been found. Uh, collections. Oh, I, uh, a tape from the FBI. Okay, so I don't need to listen to that again. We found several secrets. Going pretty well. Right, I know not to walk between her and the little book trolley thing. Maybe we just head back. in what we wanted to see there. I'm assuming it was... Oh, there it is! It's giving me the prompt now. I don't know how they screwed this game up so bad. I'll tell you what, coming from House of Ashes to this one, it's like they had a whole different crew make this one. It's mad. <laughs> then again, I suppose this was in, this was likely in development at the same time as um, um uh, what is it? Uh, the Quarry? I'm sure it's the same team that did... Or, or the, the same... Um, studio. That did both of those games. So, that leads me to believe that... They had their B team on this game. And their A team on the Quarry. Which I can understand. Because, you know, there was a, there, there was a couple of... You know, A-list actors in that, maybe. Was it, Perhaps maybe not A-list, but no, oh, I didn't want to climb up on that game. I want to push. There we go. We're making that jump. your head down I don't think she's following us dude I think the bots like nah 
I don't want any part of this. Where would that be? Where's even that camera from? It must be the lamp up there, maybe? Well, not looking out of there, that's for sure. Is there anything else in this room? Okay, so that's... Oh, hello, hello. What's this? Find a penny, pick it up, and or day, we'll have a bookshelf fall on us and kill us immediately. Score. Okay, so I can't go through there then, so what's the point in that? Oh, I can move this. How convenient. I'll be interested to know how, uh, you know, what the, uh, the previous, um, group of people went through when going through this. Give me the prompt. Come on, you can do it. We got this. There we go. See? It wasn't that hard, was it? This should work. Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. Okay, so we push the ladder down. Oh, so I've got a Yeah, I see now. So the ladder's down now, so I can push the thing back to where it was initially, and then I can use the ladder to get up there without having to try and jump across. Oh, gee, but that was obvious to begin with. You bloody idiot. Oh, man, after pushing stuff around in Plague Tale Requiem, that... that that was a piece of cake. <laughs> God, I made it look so horrible. We're going up the ladder. I, I, you know, the fact that we're doing this is, is a bad, bad, bad idea. shouting or something in the background or is it just I don't know it sounds like somebody's going ah! every now and again well Now that I'm here, oh, I can climb. You can do this. <coughs> I 
I love how the game gives me the opportunity to think about picking it up, you know? Got it. Just diligently waiting there. Put that way. Okay. Let's open up the door to our death. Whoa. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Must be encouraging. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Hey, what have we got here? Okay. Possessions belonging to the victims of Triple H, Chicago, 1896. Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Ooh. H. H. Holmes. I don't know if we want to be touching this. <laughs> Fuck me! Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It, what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, dear. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Uh... Are we tired of watching them fight? Nah, Charlie can be a pain I know in the Charlie ass. can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Seems to think he owns us. Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. A piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Good for you. That's that's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Oh dear. Great. 
Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Hey guys! Oh dear. Mm, awkward. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't <laughs> seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just... Left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Hmm. Do we have him play the arsehole or do we try to be reassuring here? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know. So when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. She ain't wrong. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Found a pack of invisible cigarettes. <laughs> Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. What? Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Oh my god, here we go. Let's try and be enthusiastic here. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested.
appreciative. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally hurt us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. Great. Ooh, toasty. Charlie maintained control during dinner. It's just creepy. Hello? Guys? Is that you? I think she is about to get real. Oh no. She's got a directional mic. I like the sounds coming from the walls. Directional microphone to find the source of the noise. I wonder if I, I should still be exploring. This is I deep. Go. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement to cause trust in me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Yeah, I figured there'd be something you could find. Yeah, 
The execution of Triple H. There's more cameras. Can we get a good look at that? changed another this has changed oh shit that was a pretty nasty premonition to go. It's in our premonition. I think Aaron's actually going to bite the bullet here. Everything was peachy. Aaron's gonna fucking die. No. Oh, I don't like this, man. Blood on the door handle. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. This is horrible. Oh, my God. Something's gonna happen, something's gonna shit me up. Oh, take the fucking things off. This is my own sister. Oh, 
won't be there long. Fuck. Oh god. Sorry. You dead, Aaron? God damn. Not again. Okay. Turn the power back on. I <laughs> guess we're doing that when we return, folks. But for now, that's it for the devil and me for this installment. I hope to catch you all again in the next one. Things are starting to heat up. Oh boy. I think I'm going to get Aaron killed. She's absolutely going to die. And uh, yeah, um, I, I don't think anybody's actually going to make it off of this uh, <laughs> off of this island, away from this hotel of murder. Oh boy. All right, anyway, you'll take it easy. Catch you on the next one. Bye!